Traditionally, what would happen with a normal re knee replacement is that patients would have their regular anesthetic for the surgery itself, uh, whatever that technique may be. And then post-operatively, they would have their pain managed with various pain medications, such as uh, foundational medications like acetaminophen and an anti-inflammatory. And then for additional pain, they would have a stronger opioid medication like hydromorphone or morphine. What's changed over the last few years now is that we've started introducing uh, adductor canal catheters. Instead of patients getting the catheter placed and having the pump inject local anesthetic throughout their duration in hospital, we are trying to transition to pumps that they can take home with them in order to get the same type of uh, analgesia or reduction in pain without being in the hospital setting. What the catheter allows a patient to do, first of all, they're able to prolong the amount of analgesia that they have or pain relief that they have in the front of their knee uh, because they have the pump continuously delivering for a number of days. It's a disposable pump. It'll continue to give local anesthetic. Once the pump is empty, they can pull out the catheter themselves and dispose of everything on their own. They're able to mobilize faster. They're able to uh, do their physiotherapy sooner and with more efficacy, better, because they're able to flex their knees a lot better. Um, they're also taking less stronger medications which have significant side effects uh, which include things like nausea, sedation, itchiness, constipation. We're avoiding a lot of those side effects by reducing the amount of these medications that they're taking. That just helps them to do better and be discharged earlier as well. And, and with, the, with the beds that are available, we can continue to put uh, surgical patients through and, uh, and allow them to receive the high quality care that we are used to delivering at Southlake.